So I'm here with Chuchu again, and he's going to help me talk about what's known as the last mile problem. So when we talk about the challenges of delivering internet to people in this country and around the world, um, frequently you'll hear this term, the last mile problem. So what does that mean? What the last mile problem identifies is the fact that frequently the bottleneck in your internet connection is the last mile of cabling between you and the internet itself. Why is that the case? Well, remember that in many cases, people are receiving internet using wired connections that were not designed to carry the internet. They're receiving internet over phone lines. They're receiving the internet over cable lines. And this infrastructure we, was built out in the past, and now it's sort of been pressed into service to carry these internet connections. The other thing that the last mile identified is that, is that once you get across the last mile, you get into a core of the internet that is extremely fast, extremely high bandwidth. So, for example, when you're trying to download a movie at your house, and that download takes 10 minutes, that's not because of congestion in the core of the internet. That's because of the last mile of cable between you and your cable provider or your phone provider, or however you're getting internet. That's why that connection is slow. The core of the internet is incredibly fast. So if you can get more speed out to the edge, you can really improve performance. There are communities where various companies are trying to roll out residential broadband access using fiber optic links that are way higher capacity uh, than the types of connections that most of us have. And at those places, you could download that movie in like 10 seconds um, because the core of the internet is so fast. So if I could just get that speed to the edge, um, our overall experience of the internet would be quite different. That's going to happen. But it's going to happen slowly, because the last mile problem is really a little bit deceptive. It makes it sound like there's only a little bit of the problem left to solve. But in reality, the last mile problem should really be referred to as the last miles problem. Because solving the last mile problem requires replacing and upgrading an enormous amount of infrastructure that we currently use to connect to the internet. It means replacing the cables from my house, and my neighbor's house, and my other neighbor's house, and everybody in this neighborhood. So that's going to require an enormous investment of infrastructure, time, money, and effort to connect us to the internet using these fast connections. Until that point, we're all still going to be uh, waiting for our movies to download because of the last mile problem.